Now it's Claret. No hole as Hobson wraps Claret up at the 42-yard line, and the uh, freshman takes a loss on that play. Third down. Jackson will go with Jenkins. He has manned him up all day. Number three defensively. Tracking number 12 offensively. Here's your third down. Tight now. end and fullback outside wide here. With an empty backfield, there's five receivers for Krenzel. Steps away from trouble. Now he'll run, dive to the close to that marker. He probably is just right at the marker. How's they lucky to get that play off? Krenzel looked up and saw the shot, the clock going down, and quickly moved his foot to get the silent snap, and then dove for the marker on the far side. It's short, doesn't it? You can tell by the body language of Ohio State's bench that it was short. With Krenzel, you would think they just let him go right behind the left guard, Doss is out on the field yelling encouragement to the offense. Remember against Purdue, third down and short twice. They got stopped in the backfield, forcing them to try that fourth down pass play that won it. But they did not have Maurice Claret. Less than uh, you yard. wonder if they will uh, risk yes. a handoff I there think they when should you've got sneak. Absolutely, I would quarterback sneak. You can see how short this is. Goal line look here for the Wolverines. Claret there. Krenzel behind the left side. Got the first down. Sets it up and he come back very smartly and just go through. Claret decoys from the tailback position and he pushes through for the first down. Now the question, you can almost feel it. I, I don't. I don't think the players are anywhere near as nervous as the Ohio State fans right now. Ball at the Wolverine 32. Takes the handoff. Krenzel's going to throw a first down. Got a man wide open. It's Claret. Out of bounds at the six-yard line. Maurice Claret, who is an outstanding pass receiver. That is for 25 yards during the spring. Jim Trussell told us that Michael Doss could not defend him coming out of the backfield. That's how good he is. Out and up. And watch Krenzel. He doesn't lead him. He's got him wide open, so he throws the ball right at him. And Claret turns around and catches it with two hands right there looking at the ball. Perfect by the quarterback. Great call by Jim Trestle on first down. A 26-yard gain. Buckeyes show the power eye. Michigan digs in for a play defensively. Claret bounces. Stopped at about the four-yard line. An injured Michigan player is down. I think he was perhaps just winded. Hoyer is slow to get up. Norman Hoyer, the junior, he's up now, bending over a little bit. Take a look at uh, the two running backs. Claret now with 117 yards, averaging almost seven yards a pop. He has scored the games only touchdown you can see that Perry although he has run well has been limited to only 2.7 yards a carry and uh, the Buckeyes with Claret over on the sidelines been taken he wants out. to be in he there wanted to go in. <laughs> he wanted to be in there now in this situation before against Illinois they ran the stretch play to Maurice Hall is Hall in the game or is it Lydell Ross it is Maurice Hall down at the Wolverine four. Powers to the left side of the formation, but now the H-back, yes, they'll turn Hartsock back around and 
They'll go to the weak side. Easy. They'll walk in. Touchdown. They ran away from the strength of the formation that time. And Maurice Hall strolls into the end zone. Now we know why Clarence wasn't in there. This play has been practiced and circled for Maurice Hall. How about those two calls by Jim Tressel? The first down pass to Clarence and the option play. Everybody to one side, option play to the other. Michigan never, never saw this one on film. Two great calls. So Jim Trussell orchestrating the offense. Using different personnel, Nugent adds the extra point. He scored the winner a week ago in overtime. Trussell leads Michigan 14-9. Timeout. Eight plays, 57 yards. Remember what we said at the start of the drive. The best starting field position of the day for Ohio State. We also said the wind is at their back. They have a chance if they can force Michigan to punt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, these Ohio State Buckeyes are five minutes from Arizona. Five minutes to a chance to play for a national championship. Perhaps their first since 68. But remember, the Wolverines got one in 97, and they've still got a lot of fire left in their belly, and it'll be their turn now with Nugent to kick it off. One second, one second left on the clock. Remember, it is not a home timekeeper anymore. That was a change this year. It's an independent play. They are running the clock. The ball sails out, and the independent clock operator says one more snap. So close, and yet so far. The ball will be in Navarre's hands one last time. Fires in zone, intercepted. Let's party, Columbus. Their 29th Big Ten Championship, and it is huge as Maurice Claret, Jim Trussell, and the Buckeyes were ahead to Arizona where they'll play for all the Tostitos in the Fiesta Bowl on January 3rd. For the first time in history, 13-0, the Buckeyes.